Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to read an XML by using read XML from file action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to retrieve or execute XPath by using execute XPath expression action. Before going to learn about these actions, first we will learn about XPath. What is XPath? XPath is a query language for selecting nodes from an XML document. This XPath can be used to navigate through elements and attributes in an XML document. Let me show you a small example over here. In our previous session, we have used students and teachers.xml. I'm going to use the same XML over here. If you go through this, we have to be selecting the nodes. What are the nodes that we have? You can see we are having students, teachers, parent node. And inside that, I'm having students, student, name, first name. These are all the nodes which we have. And if you see over here, under that, you are having teachers also. Teachers, inside teachers, we are having child node as teacher, name, and first name. And also you can see the address also for the both students and teacher. I'm having name, address, at the value, at the nodes. All right. Now, let us assume if I want to extract the students' names. What we have over here, if you see, I'm having James as the first name and last name as Smith for the student one. And for the student two, I'm having Tom White at the first name and last name. And you can see the address over here, 202 Victoria Road and so on the things. In the same way, if I want to get the name of the teacher, then I want to go to the teacher's node inside the teachers and name. And there you will find Amir, P at the first name and the last name and the respective address. Let us assume if I want to get the only the first name of the first student, how can I go and navigate the path? First, I need to go to the student's teacher's node. That is the parent node. And after that, inside that, I have to go to the student's student name and first name. From there, you can get the value over here or the text over here at James, right? In the same way, if you want to go to the address, same path, students, teachers, students, student, and then you will go after that, you won't go to the inside the name, you will go to the address, right? This is the X path, what we are going to define. Nothing but we are going through, navigating through the elements and the attributes to get the values. That is called X path. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to execute XPath expression by using execute XPath expression XML action. What it will do, it extract the values from an XML document based on the provided XPath query. All right. Now, in our previous session, we have seen how to read an XML from the file, right? From the same XML, we have read the data and we have stored the value inside the XML document flow variable, right? Now, I will give you three scenarios over here. The first scenario is that I want to get all the student names from the particular XML by using XPROTH expression. So what are the names that we have? You can see student names as James, that is the first name, and Smith is the last name. And after that, Tom White, this is the name of the student that is second student these are all the students what we have and the second scenario i want to get all the names over here if you observe i'm talking about all names nothing but students names as well as the teachers names at the same time over here if you see the tags over here i'm having first name over here as well as in the teachers also i'm having first name right I want to get all the names, including students as well as the teachers, right? That is the second scenario. And the third scenario, if you see, I want to get first student name. Out of two students or n number of students, I want to get it only one student name, I want to get it. These are all the three scenarios 
we are going to work it out right now by using execute xpath expression all right now first of all let me drag and drop this action that is execute xpath expression onto the workspace now first of all we'll see the parameters what are the parameters that we have you can see over here the first parameter xml document to pass so by using read xml file we have got the values inside the flow variable that is xml document right that is the same xml document we are going to select over here let me select that by selecting the variables over here as xml document and then xpath query what is this xpath query what are the values you want to retrieve that values you can retrieve by using this xpath query let us assume as a first scenario, I want to get all the student names, right? Over here, how we have to navigate? If you collapse all these things first, first you want to go to the students and teachers, right? Expand that. And there inside that, you want to get the students, right? Let's expand that. Inside that again, you can see student. And there you will find the names over here, right? Inside the names, again, you have first name this is the navigation path that the same path you are going to give it over here right let me take it up first i have taken the path as students teachers slash students slash student slash name and inside that slash i want to get the first name so what we will get we will get two names over here you can see in the student one i'm having james as well as student two you can find tom right that will get two names over here let me go back to the workspace and over here if you see the xpath query that i'm having students teachers slash students slash student slash name slash first name so that what we will get we'll get the results because of we are having more than one value over here that's the reason we'll get the values as multiple values and it will comes in the list that the entire values will be stored inside the variables product that is xpath results all right now if you see we are having another parameter get first value only what do you mean by that if you are having multiple values inside the path that is xpath that i want to get it only one value that we will see in the as a scenario three right now i'm going to use the scenario to get all the student names all right all the student names which having first name all right let me click on save now whenever you will execute the flow the entire data will be fetched by using read xml from file and after that by using execute xpath expression the particular path which we have given as part of xpath query will be executed and the results will be stored in the xpath results if you see over here this xpath results having the list of xml nodes all right now to know the values what are the values that we have inside the xpath results how can we go ahead and get it by using for each loop action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace over here value to iterate what is the value we are having xpath results right let me go ahead let me select this xpath results and then for each and every iteration that the values will be stored in the current item i'm going to keep it as is and then i'm going to click on save now we want to know what are the values have been stored inside the xpath results right so how can we go ahead and display that by using display message let's drag and drop this display message action onto the workspace inside the for each now i'm going to give the title as names and what are the values that i want to display over here what are the values that i have having in the current item current item there's a value called inner text let me select that and then i'm going to click on save so what will happen over here whenever i will execute this flow what are the values that we have inside this xpath query that is students teachers students student name and the first name there the values will be getting over there and it will be displayed by using our flow let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see over here the output i'm having first name as james if you see over here the first value got it as james over here as the first value all right let's click on okay now the second value is tom all right let's click on okay now 
if you observe inside the teachers also that we are having the first time but it's not to retrieve the values because of the path the x path query what we have given the navigation we have given in the path over here as defined okay now if i want to get the teachers names how can we go ahead and do that just i'm going to change the x path query as teachers and inside that i'm having the node as child node as teacher and then we are having name and the first name all right now let me show you once again by saving the action let's run the flow to see the output once again for the teacher's perspective now if you see that i got the value as amir because of the xpath query navigation has been changed now what it has been happened we have given students teacher inside that that we are having teachers teacher and name and the first name this is the path which we have defined so that we got the values of the teacher that is first name as amir all right let's click on okay now as a second scenario we want to see all the names nothing but if you see over here in my xml i'm having names as first name as james in the students as well as the teachers i want to get the both the names of the first names of all the xml document how can i go ahead and do that but if you observe the the path is different totally different right so if you see if you want to go to the teachers you will go to the teachers but if you want to go to the students you have to go to the students tag right now over here how can i go ahead and do that in the execute xpath query now irrespective of the pass that what i will do i will give the stars over here star is nothing but what are the values that we have irrespective of any name that you will get it all the values over here i'm just going to define the students or the student or the teachers or teacher in that case i'm going to use star over here so what will happen it will goes to the both the paths what are the navigates path i have given it will goes through that path and it will find it out what are the name that we have inside the name that i will go it will go ahead and it will get the first name all right now let me show you that by clicking on save and let's run the flow to see the output once again flow execution started and you can see over here as the first output i got james for the students perspective and next one tom and the third one if you see over here teacher under teacher i am having amir right i got the values of that first name also let's click on okay i hope you understand the scenario one to fetch all the student names and also as a second scenario if you want to get the students as well as the teachers at the same time by using scenario two we have used stars over here all right now if you observe in my xml i'm having students more than one student i'm having it all right now i don't want to get all the student names i want to get only the first student name of the first name only now how can i go ahead and do that over here now over here if you observe in the execute xpath expression that we are having get first value only in that case i'm going to defining over here i'm going to make it as enable so that what will happen this xpath changes to xpath results to xpath only that is it will takes only single value in the xpath result variable all right let's click on save now what i'm going to do i don't want to use this for each loop because of we have only single value over here let me disable that now in my xpath result i'm having single value to display that i will use display message action onto the workspace and i'm going to give it as first name i'm just going to give only first value over here all right now what is the message to display i'm having x path over here inside that i'm having inner text i'm going to select that and then i'm going to click on save now let's run the flow to see the first student name over here but if you observe over the expression that I have taken all the values i want to change it over here also because of i want to work only on the students okay inside that i'm having student as the child node let's click on save and let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see the output over here at james but when you click on okay 
I won't get another student name because of if you see in our students that I'm having first name with James as well as the Tom, right? But I'm having two values over here, but I got only the first value because of we have given the execute export expression as get first value only that we have been enabled over here. All right. I hope you understand how to work with execute export expression as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.